I'm Vernon. <laughs> I'm Venice. We are here to talk about a controversial topic today, which is very necessary. It includes finances and money. So what's the topic, baby? My money versus your money. And why is this Ooh. important? Right. Because in every relationship, finances come up. Uh, in our experiences, this has been one of the things that has certainly been a very pressing issue, um, especially in new relationships, um, how to deal with finances, how to deal with the money that we make and, 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 and how that can affect our relationship. So what are some of the things? We're, we're going to talk about a few quick points that may help address this. So, babe, what, what, what's a topic, what's a point that could help the situation in a relationship? Well, I feel like firstly, you always have to start with honesty and that's with anything within a relationship. Money is not something that's comfortable always to talk about, but you no. gotta be honest. You gotta talk about where you are, what your goals are financially, um, your past situation with money and just being honest from the gate. What is this and what do you want when it comes to money and finances? Super important. I think that's, that's a hit on honesty. Yeah, yeah. We got another point too. What else? Honesty. What else you thinking? Um, I think creating a budget. But you're gonna have to. That's why I said start with honesty. Be honest first, and then you can actually sit and create a budget. I offer that you create a budget for yourself first, and then talk about the financial goals within your relationship, and then creating a budget together. But that's gonna come with conversations and communication. That's why we always offer that you, you know, are comfortable communicating with your significant other. I think those are two great starts. And I think something that piggybacks off of that, that's another tip is understanding each other's financial goals. I mean, a lot of times we know how much we make. We know that I get money. We know that she gets money. We know that our bills are paid, but we're not talking about what we're really trying to do with our money going forward. Mm -hmm. What are we trying to invest in? What are we really trying to do with our money? Are we trying to save? What does save look like? Um, what are some things that we may be interested in that we spend on? And just figuring out what each other's financial goals are. We may be in completely different places about what's important. Obviously, we know we got to keep the lights on. We know we got to pay the we got to pay the rent of the mortgage. But other things may not be priorities for one of us. Maybe making sure the cars is, is taken care of and making sure we got money on the side for that is a priority. For somebody else, shopping and, and, and things like that might be a priority. So just being on the same page and trying to understand what are our financial goals. And then again, trying to have those conversations about what the future looks like for our financial goals. Right, right. Um, I think another thing that piggybacks off of that with the financial goals, and I kind of alluded to it, is just being aware of your spending habits. Look, we all got our own vices, man. I know for me, I love hoodies, sweatpants, and sneakers. That's my thing. So I spend money on hoodies, sweatpants, and sneakers all day. Mm -hmm. I know my wife, you know what I mean? My wife just likes to shop. Amazon is her best friend. So we get packages all the time. Um, so, you know, and, and it's all good. Like, it, it, it's not a problem just as long as we talk about it. Like, we know what, what, what we're spending it on. You know, I'll be honest with you. You know, I'll go, you know, if I spend some money on some clothes, some sneakers, I'll check with the wife and just let her know. Like, yo, this is what I'm about to do. And it's not saying that, look, I make my own money. She makes her own money. So it's not saying that I have to, but it just eliminates the gray areas. It eliminates unnecessary conversation. And it just, it adds to what we talked about with the first point, just that honesty about money. Like it doesn't have to be a back and forth. I, I, I have my own bank account. She has her own bank account. And then we have a joint savings account and it works, but we still talk about what we're spending and what we're buying just so that we know we're both on the same page and we understand our spending habits and our financial goals. Mm -hmm. And all of these, these topics and tips actually coincide with one another because it allows, if you follow these, where you can always be consistently honest, you're actually communicating, you have an understanding because you've had these conversations. And when it comes to the budget, if you need to revisit it every year or every six months, that's something that you get to create within your relationship. So it doesn't have to be, okay, no, we, we set a budget six years ago. Why are we still talking about it? Things are constantly changing. Yeah. So when it comes to something as important as finances, it's imperative to check in and revisit and tweak things as things come about. Because six years ago, you may not have had children. You might've just had a dog. But as things you know continue to grow, it's important to check back in with your finances. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a fluid conversation, man. Life changes. Yeah. Your life changes. Right. And look, the roles and responsibilities is a good conversation. It may change too. Absolutely. We've been in different situations where now we're both, you know, we, we work together. So we, you know, kind of, we both make our own good money. But also we've been in situations where she was the breadwinner for a time and I was the breadwinner for a time. And when that happened, we had to talk about what does this look like? What are we able to pay? Well, whose responsibility is what? What am I bringing in so that I can take care of this? And look, ego is a big part, especially for us guys. I know ego plays a big role in that. We want to be the provider. But understand, like, if this is a partnership and this is for life, you're going to have some moments and some times where you might be down. And you might be down to come back up. You might be down because you're working on something, you're building on something. Yo, that's what your partner's here for, mm -hmm. to have that support. So be okay with her having the means to make sure and hold y'all down while you get back on your feet. And it don't mean that you're not the man of the house. Mm -hmm. As long as you got a plan and as long as you're communicating with your girl about what you got going on and you're still doing things you need to do to bring money into the house, it may not be to the level that you want or the level that you're going to get to, but that's what the partnership is for. So talking about those roles and responsibilities and what we got going on and what's getting paid by what and who and how we're doing it is super important. Right, right. And you're going to hear us talk about, you know, within different topics and situations within this series, how at the end of the day, that word partnership is a a big deal. It's so important to understand that you are with somebody who has your back and vice versa. So there's no competition here. There's no who makes this and who makes that. In our opinion, truth be told, there is no my money versus your money. Nah. It doesn't exist over here. So if you follow these tips and you're open to having a communication, you know, having communication within your relationship, open communication and having an understanding, then it creates a safe space within your relationship and a lot of times people don't look at talking about money as safe but that's something that has been created and it's time for us to shift that and really look at it as a partnership and really a togetherness thing absolutely look we both grind hard and both every you know everybody in a, in a relationship you can grind hard and it's okay like mm -hmm. it's okay to have that conversation with your spouse about what the money looks like and what the money's doing and in fact you know i think it's fair to say it's imperative because eventually if you don't have the conversation it's going to turn into an issue we want to create peaceful relationships where we we're, we're in harmony with all things and finances right. is part of one of those things right. so right. you know create an opportunity to just have these conversations right and, and at the end of the day, you know, you probably have heard that statistics show that the top three reasons why people divorce or relationships dissolve is actually money is on the top three of the list when it comes to dissolving a relationship. So, you know, talk about finances and get within yourself to realize and recognize where the roots of your uneasiness with money comes from if there is some uneasiness know that this is just the beginning of conversations with money we will be having more videos about this because a lot of times people in a relationship don't want to talk about money because they don't feel safe talking about it and it comes from what we were taught and what we were not taught and that is a whole nother video absolutely so we definitely please stay tuned because we definitely gonna have more videos just talking about you know uh creating that space and creating that that space to be honest not just about money but just about conversations period and, and feeling safe in that mm -hmm. um but also talking about addressing that financial trauma because i know you know a lot of times we hear trauma and, and sometimes it goes to the largest extent but you know we don't understand that the, the spending habits that we've seen from our parents that we've seen from our you know from siblings that we've seen from our communities you know those are those could be trauma too and things that we bring with us and things that we bring into our relationships that we don't realize are the reasons why we have that the patterns that we have right. so please stay tuned and locked in because again this will be definitely something that we're going to add some parts to to uh to break down the financial conversation a little bit more make sure you you, you get at us and let us know what's working for you let us know if you're able to you know apply those things let us know if, if these conversations are helpful um and also what other conversations you would love to hear peace